Coach, four games left in the regular season. Big game coming up tomorrow against UAB. Talk about the matchup with the Blazers. Well, uh, certainly it's nice to have a familiar opponent. We've had so many that we haven't played before, but um, we're excited. Uh, having a week off, I think it's been good for us that we, we've been able to work on some things and get some rest and um, ready to start again. I mean, obviously, um, it's coming down to it. Four games left, and all of them really count. You know, I just talked about this a second ago off camera, but the stats for both teams, I mean, for one team being 10-2, and two, one team being 6-5, and five, um, almost identical stats across the board. Well, one of the big differences is we've both been in close games and we've been able to pull some of those out and, and they've lost some games in overtime and um, they're a very good team. I, I think they're, they're one that's probably a little underrated and um, it's one of those games that, that it, they've given everyone a good game. So you got to go in there and expect something really good. Team 6-0 and on the road in Conference USA games this year. Obviously, this game's going to be in Birmingham. What do you think is the reason your team's played so well on the road this season? Well, I, I think that maybe it's easier to have a focus sometimes on the road because that's what we're there for. It's, it's a business trip. So our, our players have done a good job. I think we showed a little maturity in conference play is just as far as being prepared for our opponents. And um, sometimes you get a little more rest on the road, so then maybe that's helped us. Uh, so things have kind of gone the Greenway's way and uh, not other games around the conference this last week. Um, you kind of still control your own destiny with a chance to win the outright conference title come that season finale game against Middle Tennessee. How important is it for your team to take advantage of those opportunities? Well, I think it's important that we learn from those. I mean, two teams with UTEP and East Carolina have lost to teams that we were a little surprised they lost to. But um, anyone can beat anybody in the conference, and I think that should be a wake-up call for us that you go up to UAB or, or you have Tulsa here at home, that both those games are, are huge and we can't look ahead. team had a nice little week off last game against uh, last Saturday against FIU. How important was that break for you to rest and maybe lick some wounds a little bit? It, it's been a long season, and the travel's been tough. And when you look at um, you know, this point in the season, late February, uh, this week was really valuable to us. And uh, I think that was something that we had been looking ahead and, and felt like we had a good plan going into this week to how we could handle it. That being said, now no more breaks. And obviously, the conference tournament, for, for some team, it's going to be a five days, five games of five days, just gruel fest, I guess you can say. Uh, how important is it? to stay in the top four and get the potential double buy? Well, I mean, I, I think it's it's fun to be in our position. I mean, I think we're, we're looking ahead and we would like to be the top seed and that's we're in position that we can do that if we take care of business. So this is what you play for. I mean, the season comes down to these four games and, and how well you handle them and how well your team handles them. And um, this is when it's really fun. Um, fun's all well and good, but what did your team need to do to, to keep the wing streak alive and to finish the season strong? It's really simple. I, I think we have to do the things we've done. I think we have to work real hard. I think we have to we have to play hard. We have to play as a team. I mean, we're good when we're nice and balanced. Um, can't turn over the ball. Got to rebound, and those are key for us. But I don't think we should change anything we're doing. And um, if we if we try to look ahead, if we try to think of the big picture instead of what's in front of us, that could hurt us. So um, hopefully, you know, last year we were in a situation where we could have shared the title. We had the last game of the season that we could have shared it. And we didn't handle that so well. So hopefully, we learn from that and uh, in a different position. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you.